Hey guys, this is Music Tech Help Guy, and welcome to another Logic Pro X tutorial. Today I want to show you the Match EQ in Logic. This is a stock plugin that comes with Logic. It's recently been updated, I think in 10.1, maybe it was 10.2, I can't quite remember, but I'm using 10.3 for this video. So I did an Isotope Ozone tutorial earlier this week on using its matching EQ, and a lot of people have asked me to do a tutorial for Logic's Match EQ, so here it is. This is a tool that comes with Logic, and you don't have to buy any other fancy plugins to get this. Okay, so Match EQ is a learning EQ that can learn the EQ fingerprint or spectrum of an audio source, learn the fingerprint of a reference audio source, and then match the two together so that the first source sounds closer to the reference. Now this isn't going to be 100% the same, but even if you can get, say, 40 or 50% closer to the reference tone, this can be really handy if you're trying to match the tone of two different recordings or even full mixes. So there's a lot of uses for this. So the current audio file is the source that you're trying to affect. The reference is the recording that you want the current audio to sound more like. And the EQ curve will show us a matched EQ profile that we can apply to the current audio to make it sound more like the reference. For today, I've got a session here with some electric guitar in it that sounds a little thin. There's two channels of it panned left and right. I've got the vocals muted so we can hear the guitars better. Let's just solo out one of the guitars and pan it center. So it sounds quite thin, it sounds like it's been filtered out too much, and it sounds like it's being played through a tiny little speaker. I've also imported this short clip of guitar I've played on another song. The tone on this one's really big and thick sounding. This is more of the tone I wanted on this song. You'll notice that this one has a little less drive on it though. So let's make our guitars sound more like the reference sample. So first you put the Match EQ plugin on your current track that you're trying to affect. Next I'll click on the Learn button on the Current tab and play back a good chunk of the current guitar recording. So it's Learn the EQ fingerprint for that track. Next we'll select the reference, but to input the audio signal of the reference sample, we could drag the audio sample onto this track and learn it, which I don't want to do, or we could sidechain input that track. So I'll choose the sidechain input source for that track, click learn on the reference, and learn the fingerprint for the reference sample. Now there's a third, even easier way to do this. If the reference sample is handy, I've got it right here on my desktop, you can actually drag the audio file directly into the Match EQ plugin reference and it'll learn it. So that's really, really cool. Now all you have to do is go to the EQ curve and click Match. This will create a Match EQ curve that can be applied to the current audio on the track and make it sound more like the reference audio. You can adjust the smoothing of the curve, the amount of the curve that's being applied to the current track, and also how much you want the left and right channels to be linked. Sometimes some stereo variation is a good thing. So let's give this a listen and I'll tweak these settings.
You can also choose to fade the extreme highs and lows of the curve and adjust the range of the extremes. If you find there's a part of the spectrum that you want to pull up or pull down, you can grab the curve and pull it up and down, and also if you hold shift, you can adjust the Q or bandwidth. Option clicking will reset the band adjustment. So let's copy this over to the other guitar track and listen to a before and after with the guitars and the rest of the mix kicked in. This plugin has a lot of potential applications for tone matching instruments, for mixing. You can even do the opposite. If you have two instruments clashing in a mix, you can actually apply one instrument's spectrum negatively against another instrument to make them more different tonally, so the instruments don't mask as much and they're heard more clearly. You can also try this out for mastering with whole mixes. If you want one song to match another song's tone a bit better, you can just basically repeat the same process. All right, so that's the Match EQ. If you guys want some more multi-track material to practice mixing and mastering with, this same session I used in this video is available for purchase and download. I'll leave a link in the video description below. The guitar reference sample is also included. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.